homeless crisis in Long Beach, how city leaders are cutting through the red tape to get people off the streets. And we are dry today, but not for long. I am tracking more rain in the forecast and it could impact your weekend plans. Your next weather forecast is coming up. Yamava Resort and Casino at San Manuel. A new ride for the new year? We're giving away a 2023 Range Rover in January. Every Thursday, Club Serrano members can win free play, a Range Rover, or up to $100,000 cash. Details at Yamava.com. Must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. I need Social Security disability benefits. Why should I call Dr. Bill? Because some people who deserve benefits get denied. But I know what to do to get you approved. A client of mine developed a mental condition after surgery. We got his monthly checks approved. Another client was diagnosed with MS. She was denied at first, but we got her benefits approved too. I'm calling Dr. Bill right now. I'm Dr. Bill Latour. I'm both a psychologist and a lawyer. Call me. I know what to do to get you approved. Call 1-800-803-5090. KCAL News Mornings. And welcome to KCAL News at 11 on CBS Los Angeles and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Marcy Gonzalez and we begin with breaking news. Attorney General Merrick Garland has named a special counsel to investigate classified records found in President Biden's Delaware home and former Washington, D.C. office. KCAL's Amy Johnson is here with the latest on this. Amy. Well, Marcy, this latest move by the Department of Justice comes after a second set of classified documents were found. Now, the documents are are from Mr. Biden's time as Vice President. Attorney General Merrick Garland made the announcement less than an hour ago. I'm here today to announce the appointment of Robert Herr as a special counsel pursuant to Department of Justice regulations governing such matters. In keeping with those regulations, I have today notified the designated members of each House of Congress of the appointment. Well, it's not exactly clear when the additional documents were located, but the discovery was made after Mr. Biden's personal lawyers found the first batch of roughly 10 documents at his former think tank's D.C. office back on November 2nd. Now, they turned the files over to the National Archives, which then informed the Department of Justice. Earlier today, President Biden spoke about the documents. People know... I take classified documents and classified material seriously. I also said we're cooperating fully and completely with the Justice Department's review. As part of that process, my lawyers reviewed other places where documents in my, uh, of, from my time as vice president were stored, and they finished the review last night. They discovered a small number of documents of classified markings and storage areas and file cabinets in my home and my, in my, my, my personal library. Well, some Republicans have alleged a double standard with the ongoing probe into former President Donald Trump's handling of presidential records. Now, last August, federal agents executed a search warrant at Mar-a-Lago that yielded more than 100 classified documents after Mr. Trump, for months, refused requests to hand over the material. We'll have much more on KCAL News at noon and later on KCAL News at 4 o'clock. Marcy, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Amy, thanks so much. A sheriff's deputy in Santa Clarita shot a man at a popular mall, and that man later died. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is at the Westfield Valencia Town Center Mall. With details on what led up to the deadly shooting. People who live and work here in Valencia say it is very unusual to have a violent incident like this at the mall. Fortunately, the mall was closed when this happened late last night. It was around 11 o'clock. Deputies say they got called here about a possible trespassing suspect near the Macy's. They arrived and found somebody outside the store, confronted him. Somehow he became violent and physically assaulted a female deputy. We have video that shows her being taken 
into an ambulance. She was taken to the hospital treatment.